Okay, so let me go back and then create this um, table in here. And then I'll use this one instead. For some reason, the other one doesn't. I'll call my. I already have movies in here, so I can't use that. So I'll just call it movies uh, 2. Okay, so yours is movies is fine. And then that should be okay. All right. Uh, well, it, it's, it's assigned to the role, so when you log into your computer's laptop, it's because you, when you log in, you're authenticated as a Windows user, so you will automatically sync to that user, so wherever you are. So that's what DBO is, that's an alias. So the, the original owner is actually your computer, uh, your login account. So that's why you're able to use it, anybody can use it um, in, in, in that sense. Okay. But you, can, you can also set it so that a specific user has the ownership to that database or others can't use it. Okay. Um, okay, so now I have uh, DB movies to okay, so there it is. So if you do a diagram and then you'll see that it looks like this. I have select all three of them. As you can see this is a really simple database. Uh, the tables are not uh, properly joined. Okay, if you see the join, you see the, the little line across, and then you see the join. And if you run the other database, uh, I, I, I showed you the um, movies DB. When you backed up, you'll see that it looks similar, but it has a lot more tables, and uh, those tables are, are joined together. Okay, um, but this one is not. You'll see the yellow lines and so forth. But that's that's okay, because all I want to show you is that when you join tables, okay, uh, use the join statements. You don't have to. I mean, the tables don't have to be. Um, don't have to have a, a relationship in that sense, like uh, you know, a foreign key and primary key in, in that connection. It could be any <coughs> database table. Okay, we call that the um, it's like an ad hoc relationship. Okay, but I have so these fields. So that means that if I look at these three tables, um, I have the films ID fields in all of them, right? So that means they they are related somehow. Okay, they're not um, they don't have any you know constraints to these tables, so that uh, it's not really a good design in this in this example because you should have some type of constraint so that um, they are linked together and and if you delete one data from one piece it should cause some issues um, prevent you from deleting data from the others okay so now um, let's just say that we're going to run some script and go ahead and create a new query based on these diagrams I can say I want to list you know um, for example, the films. I think there's like only very little film in there. So, <clears throat> using the select, <clears throat> so from the films, the table, and again, you don't have to specify the DBO because by default that is the DBO, which is the schema. Right, <clears throat> in that group. Um, but if you happen to have any other schema other than DBO, you have to specify it. Um, if you have, like, the yeah, adventures work, right? Because that's different. So you have to you have to explicitly say it. But the DBO is default, so you don't have to specify that. So you don't have to specify the two parts, right? Uh, we talked about the schemas last time. So you can see that if I run this now, I have <clears throat> about three movies in here. Okay. And the <clears throat> so I want to just do the where clause. Okay, so the where clause we I said last time that if you want to use the percent wild card, okay, that can only goes with the light keyword, right? So you can't you can't say where um, let's just say the film name <clears throat> equals anything that begins with um, you know M and then wild card. Well, I mean, you have to use the single quote. Okay. <clears throat> so if you run the script, um, right, there's no error. It runs. But not the way you expect. Because it's looking for this, exactly these characters in there. And there's no M percent. Okay, if you want to use this as a wild card, 
that you have to use the like keyword. It only works with the like keyword. So if you switch that to the like, then so now if you look for every movie that starts with M, again, it doesn't matter about the case. And then whatever it is after that, it doesn't really care. It could be a space, uh, it could be other characters, and so on. So you can see that it has return of that just thing, single piece of, of data. But uh, if you want to change to like anything, starts with anything, and it has an A in there, and then ends with anything, and then that might turn return a little bit more. In this case, it would be all three movies. Okay, so uh, that is the only difference I wanted to uh, point that out. You cannot use it with any of the other operators. I cannot say either. I mean, of course, it's going gonna, it's gonna to use this as an exact text. Okay, it's not, it's not going to parse this as a wild card. <coughs> okay. And if you want to say everything is not equal to A, then you have to say not like, right? And then um, now it excludes all the titles that has A in there. So in this case, it would be none because everything has A, right? So that's the like. I just wanted um, to go over that. And then <clears throat> let's see if I go back here again just to the movies. Okay, so that's the movies. If I go and go into the box office, select from box office. All right, so we have some numbers in there, um, four fields. <coughs> and then we can say, like the average of the gross sales or um, <coughs> box office gross, you can say here, Select the average of the gross and then from the box office. In this case, because I'm not, <coughs> this is an aggregator. It's a function aggregator. There's about a, a couple of them. Yeah, and I guess the most uh, commonly used ones, there's about five of them, is the average, sum, count, minimum, or min and max. Just those five are pretty. Um, common. So the average gross sales from box office, if you run that, and you know, I also want to use this too. Select the other one, the, the, just the standard one. So I have both lists here. Okay, it will run two statements. It will have two outputs down here. So if you execute, you'll see that the first one here so if you click in the box here, up here, you see that the total result is five, five rows. That's including both of these outputs. So you have four <coughs> plus one, you get a total of five. If you have like a, a, a lot of, of data in here, then if you click on this result, it will tell you the total rows for that uh, result. If you click on the next window, it will show you the result only for that window. Okay. If you have like 10 selections, you have 10 results, then you have a, a combined total rows down here. Let's just show you that. So that is the average for um, the box office table. <clears throat> if you also want to show other columns besides the, um, the average here, you can say, I also show the movie title. In this case, it would be film name, right? And then comma, OK? <clears throat> So if you have like this, then again, it's based on the rule, you have to use the group by clause. If you add one field to it, if this field is not part of an aggregator. So if I put like, uh, you know, if I say, um, you know, max, then that's fine, right? I don't have to include anything in there. But if I put anything other than the aggregator, then I have to include this in the where clause, I mean the by group by clause. As you can see, if I run this, you have an error. Or just say it's not valid. You have to use the group by. So I have to say group by, and then <coughs> include all the fields up here. OK, except the one inside the aggregator. You, know, you don't have to put that in there. You can, but you shouldn't put that in there. OK, it's already um, 
that it's already used in here. So you can just say the film name. And that's the only field that is not part of the aggregator. So now um, that should be good if you run it. You have a result of two columns. And the girls doesn't have a name. So if you want to have a name, you can use an alias. And that is by going over right here after the function, and just put as, and then you can put like, um, you know, average sales. I want a single quote, by the way. They only like single quotes. <coughs> okay, and then uh, that should have in a column name called average sales. Okay, so if I run it now, so here we have the uh, all the fields <coughs> for the for the movies and then average. In this case, it, it doesn't make sense because I only have one, right? So it's the same number. But if I have like, you know, um, so in the movies in this one, it, it's a bad example. But if you have like a products ID, right? <laughs> or if you have a sales table that would sell these movies or DVDs and chances are you might have a lot of copies of you know my fair ladies and that's been sold by different stores and so all that movie might have the same ID and then it will group all those IDs together and then take the average of all these total sales right so you have a column here and that might have so that would be the average of all these movies sold for that particular group okay so that's what the group by means so first it will run this part Right. In this case, I don't have to have the where, where clause. That means I run everything in the movie uh, table there, the box office. If I want to restrict this by just saying, I just want to show, um, grab me the average, but only the you know, movies with the film IDs greater than, let's just say, two. Right. So I could say in the where clause first, up here, uh, you can say before the group, I want to say where uh, the film's ID is greater than uh, two, right? So now it's going to call only those two records in the bottom here because three and four are the only ones I have. So I restrict that to two, and then I'll group by the result based on, that, on, that, on those. So if you run now, you see that I have the result only two left instead of four before. So the, the, how this works is it will it will select the <coughs> this part first. Okay, it will pull all the data from the table based on the where clause. So if it meets that condition, then it will pull those data out. Um, <coughs> in this case, I don't have two. If it has more, then you have you you'll see that it has more. And then after this, from this result set, it's going to go into and they, and then group those together in this way. Right. <clears throat> so the next part is okay. From this result set, so for this result here, I just want to show um, <clears throat> it, the the movie that has a name that is you know a name that start with something. You can do that as well. So you can say the having clause, right? So after that, you can say having. Um, I want the the film name like. You can say that, right? Like, and then you can put a wild card, or you can say like. There's only two, the F and the S. So you can say it with the S. Start with S, and then ends with anything, right? So now you're restricting that group, which is the result here already, and only give me all those movies that have this movie title. Okay, that's where the having clause comes in. So that is the order of how this this select statement uh, works. First, it runs this as it has one restriction, one filter here. Then after that, you get a result set, which is this one here. And then it will filter one more time from that result set to only this here. So now I should have a result of just one record in this example. Let's see if that's the case. We'll run it. you see that it has only one. Okay. <clears throat> And sometimes it's always easy to see 
uh, you know, this piece by piece. So I'll, I usually do this. Um, I copy, so that is the, the entire table, right? And this one here is the group by result. So I can copy that and put it here. And then this is the other one, right? So the entire table, the uh, return by what the where clause, and then from the where clause you get the having clause. So you restrict or you filter that from this group here, and then it will run the rest from that. So it's kind of show you this way. When you run this, you have you have three different result sets to see you really if they work or not. Okay. So here, <coughs> the first group runs the entire table. I see there are four of them. And I just want those movies with the film's ID greater than two. So there's only two of them here. And then from that group, I just want the one that has a film name with starting with an S. And then so from these two, I have Superman. Okay, so it's easier to see this way um, sometimes if you don't understand like uh, what's going on inside your, your script. Okay. So if you don't do that, you just run just this script then all you see is, is just that and it may not be enough for you to to really make sure that is is what you want or not okay so <clears throat> just wanted um go over that with you guys uh just remember that the, the having class here okay this 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 column <clears throat> must be coming from one of these columns you sell, you, you added up here either from the average or from any other field so you notice that in the box office right it has three three columns or well, actually four of them so if it's not included in the select clause I cannot put it in here I cannot uh, for example I cannot say having ID is um, equal to two okay because it's not part of it I think if I run it it shouldn't let me okay so you say that it's not part of it if you want to use it you have to add that to the select and then and now uh, that should be fine uh, well, <clears throat> I have to add it here too, right? See all this, see all these. Um, so there, there's no idea of two in this case. Okay, so just make sure you um, you do that. But <clears throat> that's only the case for the having though. The where clause you don't have to, right? The where clause I could say, if it if even if I don't have it here, I could still say, ID is greater than two, and um, that should still be fine. Okay, just the having clause, because the having is has a restriction there. You know, it's a lot to remember, but as you do them, you you'll get used to it. <clears throat>